dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh over the fields we go laughing all the way ha, ha, ha. hi booktube it's missy and welcome to vlogmas day seven it's day seven um i've been racking my brain all day of what I was going to film today and I decided because I already had the questions ready for one of these book tags that I would just do this one and then get creative tomorrow so today I will be doing the trip down memory lane tag and I was tagged by Manda from Manda the glittery nerd thanks Manda for tagging me Hope you like my answers. Um, I will try to find the original video and leave it down in the link below. First question. The first question is, first novel you remember reading? When I was 10, my stepmother gave me her collection of Nancy Drew books. And I had read before that, you know, we would go to the library when I was little and I remember reading. But that was the first time I actually owned a set of books. So the very first book I remember reading is the first book in the Nancy Drew series and that is Secret of the Old Clock. This got me into mysteries. I really enjoyed reading about the things that Nancy Drew would find behind secret passages. I can't remember the stories anymore since I did read it so long ago but I do remember really enjoying them and flying through those books and being told to you know turn the light off if it was time for bed or hurry up and come out um, out of your room so that way you could eat dinner so those books I really enjoyed number two first book you fell in love with my the first book I ever fell in love with and I'm sorry this doesn't have a cover anymore because this is actually the book I bought when I was little. Um, this is Heidi and I believe I bought this I want to say when I was eight or nine. I remember buying this from the um, my school library when they were having a like a, a sale and I think I only bought this for about 10 cents. I was really excited to own it. It was the first book I ever reread and I think I've read this book three times now in my lifetime I really enjoy this story and it's got a sweet message at the end so go Heidi all right number three your favorite children's storybook <laughs> I'm choosing Grimm's fairy tales I really really like um, fairy tales and I like dark fairy tales and my um, grandmother used to read me stories from this book when I was little up until I think eighth grade and I know that sounds really old but I, I just enjoyed you know listening to her tell these stories and she would change her voice and um, we would read by like a really low light so I would get sleepy you know while she was reading it I just I have fond memories of her reading Grimm's fairy tales and so when I became an adult I bought this book I am now reading these to my children which is very exciting number four the first book you ever became obsessed with and that was forever by Judy Bloom as you can see it's very old I bought it when I was in the seventh grade I had to order it from Barnes & Noble because they didn't have it in stock and if I would have known what it was about when I ordered it I would have been way more embarrassed but I didn't know what it was about and I knew Judy Bloom was a little kid author because I read Freckle Juice and Ramona Quimby Lo and behold, this is a nasty book about a girl's first time with her boyfriend. I remember being shocked that the boyfriend had named his penis, which I thought was insane. Um, Ralph is <laughs> penis's name, and I just thought it was so risque and all my friends wanted to know what it was about. And I'm pretty sure I lent it out to them so they could read it. It's such a 
embarrassing book to own, yet uh, <laughs> I, I love knowing that I was so obsessed with this book. I think I, I think I've read this book, or at least the dirty bits, at least 15, 20 times when I was like in middle school because I, it made me giggle. I thought it was so funny about just the story in general. And then at the ending, you would think that the ending would be, you know, super romantic or whatever. And it was so realistic what it, what it's like to have a teenage romance or like a teenage love and then lose your virginity and come to find out you really don't love that person. So if you haven't read this, I would pick it up just to find out what I'm talking about. Number five, first book that taught you something about yourself. The first book that I remember reading that really taught me about myself was a book called The Upstairs Room. It taught me that I was very empathetic to others. I read this book when I was in third or fourth grade. I was pretty young. And this book is about two sisters who are hiding from the Nazis in at a like a a neighbor's house or something and they live in the attic and they've been hiding. Um, I don't remember very much about the story now since it was a really long time ago that I read this book, but I do remember thinking how sad and scary it must have been to be hiding from Nazis who would kill you just because of your nationality. And, um, and so I learned that at a young age that strangers or even like fictional characters or just a situation in general could like really impact me and um, make me feel grateful that even though the things that I'm dealing with that I think are really um, horrible in my, you know, in my childhood or whatever, it's so petty compared to people who are struggling to um, to just live, just to be alive. And so that really touched me when I was little. And it's the only book that I wish I would have bought. I believe I borrowed that book from the library. But um, I'm glad I know what the title is because now I think I want to read it again. All right, number six, a book you will always remember reading for the first time. And that book is... The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. <laughs> Can you see all these $2 stickers? I don't feel like taking them off. Um, this is obviously by Mark Twain. Um, this is not the book that I had when I was little, but when I was in first or second grade, uh, we had to read to our parents at night. And this is a chapter book. And so... Uh, mine was a paperback and it was really tiny, but I would read this book to my grandma every night and um, this was like the first big chapter book that I remember reading and I hated it. I hated Tom Sawyer. I thought he was a jerk and I didn't understand why had to read this book. I guess it must have been on our shelf. My grandma was like, oh, you can read Tom Sawyer. Or maybe it was assigned to us in the second grade. I don't know. It seems a little, a little old for second grade, but I was a really good reader when I was little. And so maybe that's why I had to read it. I don't know. I don't know, but I hated this book and I haven't read this book since. So I definitely want to go through all the little kid classics and reread them. Question seven, the first classic you have ever read, and that is Jonathan Livingston Siegel by Richard Bach. My grandma, it's always my grandma, isn't it? She practically raised me, but my grandma told me at 12 that I had to read this book. So I was in the sixth grade going into seventh grade, and she said this was her favorite book, how she really wanted me to read it. And so I did, and I enjoyed it for the most part because I thought the sequel was really cool. I didn't understand the whole transcendental aspect of it, but I did enjoy it. 
and I'm happy to say that I reread it when I was an adult in August and I really enjoyed it then and I am happy that I found it and bought it. Number eight, first book to movie adaptation you saw was The Princess Bride. I don't own the book. I do have it on my wish list on Amazon. I do want to buy it and read it, but this was my favorite, favorite um, movie when I was little ever, ever. I've re watched this a gazillion times and um, yeah, first first movie, I think I was four or five and continue to watch it ever since. That's it. That was a trip down memory lane. As for tagging people for this, this tag, if you are interested in t doing this tag, please feel free and say that I tagged you because I just, I don't know who else to tag. Thanks for watching. I will see you tomorrow and have a good night. Bye.